Hey there everyone, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. Welcome to video number 11, I believe it is now, in our crochet series. In this video we are going to be learning the double crochet stitch. Okay, again this is US terminology, not UK. Alright, okay, so as always we're going to be following the mini pattern in the description for practice and to learn our new stitch. All right, so here we go. We have our three and a half millimeter hook and our number four yarn already. Okay, so row number one, we're going to chain 15. <clears throat> one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Um, starting in the second chain from the hook, single crochet fourteen along the chain. Okay, so. Second chain from the hook, not counting the one on the hook. So one, two. So starting in this one, we're going to single crochet 14. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen. Okay, chain one and turn. Okay, so row number two, we're going to do the half double crochet along the whole thing. So practicing our half double crochet. So we're yarning over, insert, okay, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through all three. Three, there's four, there's five, there's six, there's seven, there's eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Okay. Chain one and turn. Or I'm sorry, chain two and turn. We're chaining two. Okay, because next we're going to be doing the double crochets and the double crochet stitch is taller than the single and the half double so that's why we are chaining two. Okay so chaining two and turning and now we're going to do 14 double crochets. Okay ready? It's really pretty simple so you're going to yarn over just like you do with the half double. Okay you're going to insert into next stitch yarn over, pull through. Okay, so you have your three loops on your hook just like in the half double crochet, but what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and pull through only two of those three loops. Okay, and then we're going to yarn over again and pull through the other two. And there you go, that is the double crochet. Okay, so again, yarn over, insert into the next space, Yarn over, pull back through, 
you have three loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so you can see that it is a taller stitch and there's more, like a bigger hole in between the stitches. Okay, so it's a little bit different. I'm going faster. If you need to pause the video, you can. So it should have 14. We can always double check and double count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. So see how that just that row of double crochet stitches took up the same amount of space as the two rows of the single and half double before it? Okay. So it definitely took up more room. We might have been a little quicker, but you are also sacrificing um, the, like, there's more holes in it. Okay. So... You might be thinking, oh, I'm just going to do double crochets in my projects, and then, you know, because it's faster. Yes, it is faster, but you have bigger holes in it, so it's a sacrifice that you're making by doing that. Unless you like that design, right? But when I crochet um, animals, usually um, we don't do as many of the double crochets, unless we're making a certain area um, bigger. Alright, so what are we doing next? We are chaining one and turning. Okay, and then we're just practicing a couple of the stitches we've already done. So we're going to do a decrease. Okay, so then we're going to do a half double crochet decrease. Okay, you remember that? So yarn over. Insert, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up, pull through all five. Whew, thick stitch there. Um, then we're going to do six double crochets. Okay, so yarn over. So the stitches we were just doing on the last row. Right, yarn over, insert, yarn over. going to do the half double crochet decrease again. And decrease. Okay. All right. So I know we just made a blob here. <laughs> it's not supposed to be anything in particular. We're just practicing our stitches. But I hope you have learned the double crochet stitch okay um, and I want to wish a happy one year to Hadley and Raphael woohoo congratulations guys and thank you so much for following my videos and making all my cool things um, I hope you continue to be creative and I hope you're following along with my crochet series if not that's fine um, but I just hope you continue to 
um, create. All right. Have an awesome day, guys, and uh, I will see you in my next video. Okay, don't worry. Pretty soon we're going to be making um, something fun, like a flower. Um, so um, just hang tight as we do all these practice um, swatches, I call them. Um, and soon we're going to get to some more fun things once we learn all the stitches. Okay? All right, I will see you soon. And continue to follow along and have an awesome day.